Okay, I'm shooting at two, one, 2,500. Shutter is one, 2,005. Shutter is, <laughs> shutter is one, 2,500th of a second. Uh, 2.8 ISO 500. So the goal is to get you like here. 24, here we go, here we go, come on. <laughs> Epic. I've got to get him the same speed as my camera. That's the challenge of this thing. 140th of the second, let's go down to 130. Here we go again. Yep. Straight down the line. I missed it, I didn't get it. Okay. Fuck, you're not really getting much height. Nah, man. <laughs> like, way too hard yeah. to balance bike. Yeah, fuck. Uh, well, it would just look funny. Like, I think I just, I think I'd go one more time. Okay. One more, it's always one more, six times. Uh, Come on, pop that wheelie. I'm looking at you. Oh, I think I got ya. <laughs> so you're up. You're up. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> so good. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think you're completely in focus. Yeah, you're not fully in focus, but it was so hard while you're moving. Oh, that was sick. Got some really good motion shots there where the whole uh, background is blurry and Giordo is in focus. So I'll edit them up and I'll, I'll put them on now. And uh, yeah, and then now we're gonna go over here where we're gonna get some still shots. We got the blurry shots with him riding. Now we're gonna get some details uh, for Dice Magazine. Shooting for Dice Mag, sick. So I'm gonna, I had the 24 to 105 on shooting on the hill, shooting Jordan on the hill, and now we're gonna get some detail shots of the bike here at Smith's Beach. And I'm gonna change to my 50 mil 1.2, get that really nice bokeh. And uh, obviously prime lens are a lot, I find they're a lot sharper and really, really nice quality to get that bokeh. And that's what we're after with a few detail shots here of this beautiful bike behind me. So, 50 mil prime, RF on the R5. Very, very good combo. So let's go. Get a few more detail shots of this back section here. I mean, you've obviously put a lot of effort into, into this little, little back tail light. With this little guy chilling here, which is sick. So we want to get a wide and then we'll go vertical, get a vertical like that, get some beautiful bokeh as well in the background, love that. And then this light coming in from the side is really nice as it hits the side of the bike. We do have cars in the background which I'm always trying to, trying to make sure that the background is super clean but sometimes you can work an angle that you can put the subject in the way of the distractions in the background and then they can't even see and we've got some beautiful light coming in now which is epic i might get this rose as the light comes in because that's quite a good detail so the light's shining straight onto this rose we'll get a couple of verticals for insta you know you got to remember i'm shooting at two one two thousand five hundred shutter is one two thousand five shutter is <laughs> 
Shutter is one two thousand five hundredth of a second. Uh, two point eight ISO five hundred. ISO should probably be lower, to be honest. But it's not super important. The R five can handle ISO, no worries. Get a couple of Bennett shots here as the light's coming in. Make sure your shadow is not in the way of where you're trying to shoot. Always be thinking about your shadow. You don't want to be in the way there. Beautiful. Bennett's. Detail shots of this. You always want to focus on some really good details to be a part of the story. So you want to come in close, get some nice detail shots, and that adds to the story. So you want to get the details, pull away, and then get some wides. So you've got a you've got a mix of shots so it doesn't get boring. It's always it's always more interesting to have a wide variety. Let's get this lock, let's get this rock out of the way, it's distracting. Always always have a clean, clean, clean frame. As clean as possible. Probably remove that bush in Photoshop. We'll see how we go. It might be distracting, but any yeah, any of that shit's gotta go. It's just always Distracting, distracting from the eye. You don't want to take any of that shit away from the actual subject. All right, nice. Yeah, look at the bike, hold that there. Sick, and we'll get a couple of inter, vertical, boom. Get your symmetry, get your central, love it. Look, sit next to it there. You want to have it down on the ground right now? Let's try with, I'm chilling on the log. Let's see what it looks like. Maybe get get a little bit of space. Give it some space there. Nice. Yeah, just look at it there. Cool. And now sit on the log facing the beach. And you're just having a moment, mate. You're just cruising. You're having a relaxing morning. Just go another foot away from the, the tire. Give it a little bit of room. Yeah, sick. All right. I reckon that's pretty cool. He's parked his bike up and he's just having a relax. Watching the ocean. Doesn't get much better than that. Come on here. Oh yes, there we go. That is sick. <laughs> I love this lens so much. It's my 50mm RF 1.2. Just so, so sharp, incredible bokeh. It's just my favorite. What, like, what are the specifics that you really like about it? I use this for portraits and it's just super sharp. You can get like zoom right in when you're looking at the photos in post and it's just the most incredible detail. And yeah, it's just crispiest lens on the market, I think. Canon's RF 50mm 1.2, insane bokeh. Absolutely love it. Bokeh. Bokeh? Bokeh. Bokeh? Bokeh. I think it's... <laughs> bokeh? People say bokeh. Bokeh? Some people say bokeh. I say bokeh. Bokeh. Incredible bokeh. Bokeh. Look at this bokeh. We got some really, really nice motion shots. We started out this morning. Beautiful motion shots and slow shutter where everything's in. Uh, whether the bike of Giotto is riding it and he's in focus and everything in the background is out of focus and then we're gonna and then we come over here to Smith's Beach and we got some detailed shots super low like two, shooting at 2.8 getting some really nice detailed shots here on the log and we just you always want to mix a nice mix of shots when you're when you're submitting something to a magazine or when you're pitching to a brand you want the tight detail shots and then you want to allow this story and then the wide shots so everything wants to wants to add up to the story we got the location we got the character of Giordo on the bike I mean the bike itself is an incredible character with the way it's designed and we got the event you know he's cruising on this epic bike in this beautiful location so it all adds up to the story and it's just super nice I've had super, a lot of fun with this shoot and uh, thanks for watching really really appreciate you uh, subscribe subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next one cheers why don't I just use the articulating screen that the R5 has and just go like this? <laughs> oh, Canon. I love you, Canon. Okay?